Holy crap, it has just poured its ass off here. Holy moly, still looks like it's not done. Hopefully the rain will hold off here for a couple minutes. No worries, I don't think it's gonna affect anything I'm doing in today's video, which happens to be some inspection here on the Mustang. Now, what does that mean? Well, of course, uh, you know, all the things that I've poured in the gas tank of this car. I mean, realistically, it's only the gallon of Lucas and gallon of Marble Mystery Oil. I don't even know how many tanks of other types of additives and just ethanol and yeah. Okay, so it's been a lot of things in that tank. So I thought to myself, since the back seats are out and everything's easy to get to, perhaps I should go and check the fuel tank and see what it looks like in there. That's what we're going to be doing in today's video. Let's have some fun on Cars Create! So this has definitely got to be one of my favorite thing about modern cars. I don't know why it took auto manufacturers so long to figure this out, but I'm glad they did which is making the fuel pump and sending unit serviceable without dropping the tank. Now, both of these here are for doing that. I think that one is for the sending unit. I think this one's for the fuel pump, which is more or less where I'm going to be going into because I want to take a look at all that. There it goes. And yeah, right there it is. Wow, a little dirty. Should definitely be doing some cleaning while I'm under there. Pop that clip off there. There we go. Dang, that's got like crud in it. How the hell is that even possible? This is a brand new car and I've never been in here. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean those out and clean up around the fuel hat here. That is, that is terrible. I gotta go get a rag because I know this is gonna leak some fuel, so I'll be right on back. Okay, I've come back with a whole slew of different things. Everything I think I'm gonna need to do this. First thing I wanna do is uh, clean this. This is just horrible. Get out of my way. Really, really bad. Clean this up real quick. Okay, I mean, it ain't preferred, but that is a hell of a lot better than it was, that's for sure. So now I'll go ahead and pop a rag under here. There we go. Yeah. Good. A little fuel, not that bad. Smells pretty good in here. Gonna start getting some high. Aha! There we go. Oh, there's so much gunk around the damn ring. Okay, let, I, I need to do a bit more cleaning here. This is awful. Now I need a bunch of rats. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our pump and everything. Everything looks fine. Nothing looks goofy or messed up or nasty or gunked up. You know, everything looks really, really clean. Really, really clean. And looking down in the fuel tank, it's it's clean. There's a couple things floating around in there now. It's probably from knocking all this gunk in there, but it's clean. There's nothing going on down in there which is really really nice to see with my shenanigans and pouring all that stuff in the tank doesn't seem to have made any difference for uh the fuel system it all looks looks fine all the lines look good the pump looks good the filters i'm sure are with the strainer in there looks fine so uh not too shabby i wasn't expecting anything terrible but i'm glad this is all you know i'm glad there there was no problems here so i'm gonna get this uh o-ring cleaned up here and whatnot before i drop this back down in there wipe it off make sure it's clean then start stealing this back up well wow, that looks a hell of a lot better the only thing i got left to do is spray the uh connectors here because they were nasty. Cool. Connector looks a hell of a lot better too, so that makes me feel good. There it goes. Lock that in place. Um, oh, there it goes. I'm gonna start it up here, make sure I didn't goof anything up. I think I did okay. Uh, okay, let's see, buddy. I'm gonna have to... And 
Yeah, it actually started up a lot quicker than I thought. I guess there was enough fuel in the lines to prime, so, eh, okay. Just wanna be sure, make sure I don't have no leaks. Okay, easy squeezy, quiet, clean peasy, or something like that. So that's good, I'm glad that everything checks out there. You know, of course, when I was doing all those things, like most of me knew that th everything would be fine, but of course there was always that like tiny little bit of piece of me in the back of my mind, like, well, what are you doing? You are totally going to screw something up. You are going to damage something. And of course, like no one does these things because there's always that fear of, you know, something going wrong. And of course, like, so many comments on every video I made about pouring things into gas tank were always like gonna gunk up the fuel tank, it's gonna screw up your fuel injectors, it's gonna clog your catalytic converter, it's gonna screw up your O2 sensors. Well, <laughs> so far, all the things that I have done have done none of that. In fact, the fuel tank is squeaky clean. It's probably more dirty now after dropping some things, which I kinda got most of it out, I think, with a siphon pump, but it was definitely a lot cleaner before I opened things up. There was no like weird discoloration on the fuel pump. I guess none of that really made a difference in terms of in the fuel tank. Most of the difference it made was during combustion. So, uh, it, you know, in terms of what it was doing. So yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. Nice clean fuel tank. Now I know how easy it is to do that. Next time I need to go in there to change anything, which hopefully I wouldn't have to do things would be okay, but I thought this would be an interesting little video because I'm sure a lot of you were curious, as so was I, <laughs> you know, to what things looked like in there after all my stupidity, but so far so good. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know if you want to see more content like this and you haven't already, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, keep a lookout for next Cars Creative video.